Hi there, this is the relative pin trap in the Slav defense, a beginner level trap. After d4, d5, c4 the queen's gambit, instead of accepting the gambit with d takes c4, or declining the gambit with the orthodox defense with e6, black can try c6, the characteristic move of the Slav. After white develops knight f3, and black follows suit knight f6, knight c3 by white, black may consider that the capture now of the pawn on c4 is more opportune. So after d takes on c4, white plays e3, releasing the bishop on f1, and white wants to take the pawn back on c4. But now black can defend with b5. White will invariably continue with the typical a4 move we see so often in the queen's gambit accepted, trying to disrupt black's pawns on the queen side. Black can gain time with a move b4 hitting the knight, which drops back to a2 and now hits the pawn on b5. After black defends with a5, the pawn on c4 is now free for recapture. And after bishop takes on c4, black would be advised to play a move like e6, but the move bishop g4 is almost losing. It looks decent, it's pinning the knight on f3, but this is a relative pin. And objectively, white's best move now would be to take the pawn on f7. Because after king takes, knight to e5 check, and white is a clear pawn up, black is in a terrible position. But we're going to look at the move knight e5 just to demonstrate the shortcomings of this relative pin. If white gives up the queen with now bishop takes on d1, bishop takes f7 is mate on the move for white. So again, after knight to e5, black would do best to retreat to e6 with a terrible position for black after bishop takes e6 and f takes e6. But if black decided to retreat the bishop to h5 to defend the pawn on f7, then white wins immediately after queen takes on h5, giving up the queen. After knight takes the queen on h5, then bishop takes f7, again is checkmate. So this has been the relative pin trap in the Slav defense. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.